Hi, welcome to this new video. Today I want to show you how to build a super simple and cheap Wi-Fi alarm system using an ESP, an RF receiver and some um, detectors like read contacts or movement detectors like this. And this whole system uses the Telegram API for automatic receiving and sending messages and is programmed in Arduino. So I will demonstrate it now to you. Here I got now the ESP and the RF receiver with 433 MHz and also some detectors like here the motion detector, the read contacts. And if I for example trigger this um, read contact you will see a message popping up here. So this is the alarm. If I go back to the home screen and then re-trigger it, it will also send a noisy message which you can select what tone will it will play. So it is more noisy. Also you can use one of these small remotes to enable and disable the system. So if I disable or disarm the system, you see a message popping up with system disabled and if I now re-trigger the read contact there will be no message incoming or if I enable the system again there should be another system, system uh, enabled message and I re-trigger the read contact the message will appear again. This system can be used with all kinds of um, RF receivers like this one. This is out of an old remote for these um, sockets you can switch with yeah, a RF remote or there are also these cheap modules where you need to put an external antenna to it. But in my case this one wasn't really working well so I didn't use it. The um, reception was not really good. With this module I am now getting about 50 meters of receiving signals. The th schematic of the system is also very simple. I have it printed here. So you just got the ESP module and in my case I am using the input D18 for the receiving of the data. The module just get the ground connected, the 5 volts from the V in pin of the ESP32 and yeah of course the data pin. And that's all for the schematic parts. The rest is all in software which I also got here. And I will go a little bit through it. So first of all, you need the R switch library. You can get it with this URL, but you can also just use the Arduino library manager to download it. The Wi-Fi and Wi-Fi client secure library is part of the ESP32 library, so you need to have this installed too. And also you need to fill in your data, the Wi-Fi credentials and the bot token. You need to create a Telegram bot that can be done via the bot father on Telegram. Here is a link for it from um, a video from Brian Luck who made it quite easy to explain and also how to get your user ID for receiving the message because you set you need to set your user ID from Telegram otherwise the alarm system wouldn't know how to or where to send the messages. After that you need to um, put in your known devices like in my example the read contact and I will show you how you do this. If you have your telegram bot and an unknown device sends a message, for example if I press a button that is not programmed here, it will send a message with 
an unknown RF device. And this number at the back is the ID you need to put here into the struct to add another device. So you just copy one line, add the idea, ID here and name it to your choice. So then the Telegram bot knows it's a known device and it should send some message for it. Also you can here select the ID that will enable or disable the system. So I first did it here to press the button, remember the ID, put it in here and then press the other button and do the same. That is the whole thing you need to select or to change to your need. Also, after you have programmed all the IDs, it is better to uncomment or to comment this line serial print uh, sent to telegram message unknown RF device because otherwise you will get messages for every unknown device that triggers in your area. So even if your neighbors press a button on their remote. So this is just used for programming so you can add devices. After that we have the normal setup um, procedure connecting to Wi-Fi creating um, the interrupt pin for the RF receiver and then in the loop, in the main loop, we just look if there is some RF messages available in the RF or in the MySwitch library. And the last part is just for sending the message to the Telegram bot or API. This is it for the code. You will find it in the description, you can download it. And I'm using this system for about a month now and I don't have any problems. You could also use it with an ESP8266. You need to change the Wi-Fi connection stuff a bit, but that can be simply done by the examples that are available. That's it already. I hope you liked it and will build it yourself because the system is quite simple. You can also get these um, RF senders um, quite cheap on eBay and other portals. I used some of older um, alarm systems or this one for example is from a Sonoff device. And these ones are quite old. I bought them I think four years ago from eBay for I think four euro a piece and yeah they are not that nice but they will yeah they are also able to use. Okay if you have any questions please write it in the comments and give a thumbs up. I wish you a great day.